This is Dave with Senior Softball Bat Reviews. I was down at uh, Bobby Sines' shop this morning, and he had purchased a while back one of these Monster Zebra uh, Senior Softball Bats. He had a problem with it the first time. It cracked about 150 swings. You can see there's a crack across it right there. And called up the guy from California. The guy immediately sent him a brand new one with Alvin asking for this one back. And he had bought it with the warranty too. So they sent him a bat back. And um, he got about 150 swings on this one before it cracked. The one he has right now, he's got about four. It started, he told me it started breaking in around 400 swings. And it's got 800 on it right now. I want to do a review on this bat. He's leaving in, to Vegas in the morning. And I want to do a review on this bat when he gets back. And I talked to him about it. Me and him are going to go out and hit with it. He likes the bat actually quite a bit. He's got 800 swings on it. So it's, start, it, it's really performing really good for him right now. But I kind of want to get out there and videotape him hitting a little bit. We're going to see what kind of performance we can get out of it. Now, I want to show you guys something. This is the reason I want to put this video out there right now. I want to show you guys something about this bat. Me and Bobby were over there, and we're kind of curious because this guy said it's got a, like a floating sleeve on the inside of it. We popped the cap on it, and uh, this is the sleeve that it has. And if you guys look at it, you can see that it's a little bit more bigger than the actual size of the bat, and I guess they shrink it down, and which compresses on the walls on the inside of the bat and kind of makes sense because these bats come very heavy in weight and I guess it would be hard to get an end load I guess too but I'm sure a lot of them are just balanced but this is what it's got on the inside it's just a foam um, and I guess he, he thinks it makes it last longer well you know this one had 150 on it there must have been something wrong with it, it must have been a blend coming out of the factory but this is the sleeve they have in it and what it is is just a foam it's just a foam sleeve. Goes right in the middle. He's about that far down in there. But the one he's got right now, it says it's performing really good for him. When he gets back back from Vegas, we're gonna go out and hit with him, the one he has, and uh, see what kind of distance we can get on it. Um, but that's the. I heard a lot of things about this bat. From what I heard, they they kind of made him for the bigger guys, the guys that actually compress the walls quite a bit. Uh, flex a wall. A lot of guys who crack bats uh, use them. So as soon as he, get, he gets back from Vegas, he leaves in the morning. See what kind of performance we can get out of it. But he's got 800 cuts on it, so it's lasting for him. The one thing I do like about this bat, that you see that end knob on that thing? That thing's really small on there. The 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 grip is is about comparable to the the Mikan Senior Softball bat. It's nothing compared to the Demi. Demi Reed has got a big Big, big thick grip on it but the knob is smaller than a you know it's probably look pretty close to the Reebok knob on it so we'll see how it swings and uh, we'll let you guys know about it 